In this video, we're going to look at how you can use H2X to get detailed and accurate results for your water system. So the first part of the design is adding a flow source, and this will be the start of all the pressure calculations. So you can add this within the building, external on the water main, but most importantly, you need to enter the properties, such as the name, the residual and static pressure, and then assign height. Next, we can add some equipment to the design. So we've got a range to choose from that you'll see in the drop down menus, such as the storage tank, filters, hot water plant and booster pumps. Some of the technical properties like the pressure will be calculated later in the project, but if you want to change the visual appearance, such as the width, you can do that here. Next, let's draw the pipe layout. So we've got smart tools such as multi-pipes, which will save you time if your pipes are all traveling the same route through the building. And once you've drawn the layout, it is really easy to modify and move things around. And of course, if you do want to draw individual pipes, you can do that as well. Next, let's add some demand to the system. And there are two ways to do this. One way is to add fixtures on top of where the architect has shown them. And we do have smart features like AutoConnect, which will run the pipe work in the most efficient route possible. But if you are doing a concept design, it is easier to use the fixture groups. So you can create your own here, such as this bathroom, where we'll enter some properties, assign all the fixtures that are within that group. It will appear in the drop down menu, snap to the nearest pipes, and as we click on that node, it has the total sum of the fixtures loaded units. The last step of the design is to add valves. So this makes your design visually correct, but also for the calculations, all these valves have K values, so based on the velocity going through them, you'll get accurate pressure loss results. All right, let's check out the results now. So starting with the pipes, you can see every pipe diameter. So that's been sized based on the flow rate that's been calculated. And also you will have set a maximum velocity and maybe a maximum pressure drop. Here you can see the pressure drop for every fitting, change in height and valve. And then get the total outlet pressure at the fixtures, both residual and static. Any booster pump duties are automatically calculated. And also the recirculation pump duty for the hot water recirculation system has been calculated as well. So if you'd be interested in trying H2X on your next design, please get in touch with us at h2xengineering.com.